In 2003, the United Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners launched a campaign of raids against the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades across the United States and Canada. It continues to this day. In its attempt to steal the drywall finishing jurisdiction of the IUPAT, the UBC has been soundly rejected over and over again in votes held by the National Labor Relations Board. 2003 in Toronto, the IUPAT 568 votes, the UBC 14. 2004 in Des Moines and Omaha, the IUPAT 68 votes, the UBC 14. 2006, Southern California, the IUPAT more than 500 votes, the UBC 13. City by city, the UBC failed in its attempt to take the drywall jurisdiction from the IUPAT. Despite all their losses throughout the country, in 2007, the UBC found another IUPAT target, New Jersey. For years now, the United Brotherhood of Carpenters has sought to swell its ranks not by organizing the unorganized, but by raiding members of other unions. They tried to hijack IUPAT members in California. They used theft and deception in an attempt to steal our members in West Virginia. And this has become a pattern in cities across the U.S. and Canada. In April 2008, the IUPAT once again faced a showdown with the Carpenters, this time in the state of New Jersey. And once again, we were ready. The labor movement has to realize that there is a predatory union uh, in our ranks, and that is the UBC. It's a shame because the rank-and-file carpenter uh, wants nothing to do with this. We're going to protect our jurisdiction, no matter what the cost. Because of the UBC's aggressive campaign to challenge our long-held jurisdiction over drywall finishing and taping, the IUPAT in New Jersey petitioned the NLRB for official recognition. The Carpenters then stepped up efforts to raid our membership with a combination of fear tactics, false promises, and outright lies. We already had these members. They were, uh, there was a history that they were in uh, negotiations with our contractors for over 40 years. Uh, there was never a doubt who they belonged to. They've been to my house, you know, take the door stop, trying to get us to go with them. And, and we already know that they're robbing our work and then they're telling us they're going to give us work. I'm not going for that. And instead of working within the House of Labor um, and try to build market share with the strength of all trades, uh, they're venturing out on their own. Instead of growing their ranks through pure organizing in their own craft. As the campaign unfolded, the Carpenters' tactics seemed to backfire. IUPAT painters, glazers, and other trades stood shoulder to shoulder with their drywall finisher brothers and sisters. When they see a carpenter organizer or a carpenter shop store come up and talk to one of our drywall finishers, they right away stand side by side with him shoulder to shoulder to show them that, you know, when you talk to a drywall finisher, you're actually talking to a painter and a glazer also because we're one unit. So we're gonna be in Eaton Town on Saturday, we're going to swing up to Springfield on Monday. The theme is going to be solidarity. And you know what? Solidarity, when you see what's there tomorrow, is going to be an understatement. The IUPAT, or the International, I should say, is going to be there to support our affiliates no matter where it is, no matter what it is. We intend to do whatever it takes to support our members. And any predatory acts by any union will not go unnoticed by us. On election day in Eatontown, things seemed to be coming together. I was a little cautious on how many people were going to turn out. So uh, about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, I looked around and there was cars coming on the parking lot at 5 o'clock in the morning. We're here for support for the drywall finishers. Today's their day. Good day for independence. Good day. We're here to support our brothers from Jersey, and we're like all the other locals. We'll be there for them, and we know if <laughs> come to Philly, 
They'll be there for us. One. One union. One. Yes. One union. Their fight is our fight. If you know, if their fight comes up to New York, they'll be there with us too. It's one union. We don't stop them now. They're gonna walk us all over. Just like an Adam effect. So to keep the membership high, they want to steal all the other trade unions, grant them in. Traditionally, it's been done for 100 years. And now they want to come in and raid their work because of the serious fact that their numbers, they think they can buffalo anybody. But we're here today to show them that they're not. By 9 a.m., more than 1,600 members from painters, building trades, and other AFL-CIO unions had gathered to stand with the IUPAT in solidarity against the UBC Raiders. We're here in support of our brothers. They have been very good to us and supportive of us, and we want to make sure that their rights are upheld. We're CWA, and we're here for our, all our brothers and sisters in the uh, painters' union. The painters are one of the best unions we work with all the time. So anytime the painters need our help, we're there. Anytime we need their help, they're there for us. Hopefully uh, we don't have this problem again because the, the fight's on the other side of the fence, not amongst each other. You ain't gonna pay the bills. I want to thank every single general president that supported me. I mean, you know, with all the things they have on their plate, they took the time. Pat Finley personally was there and made a speech to the members. I could not be happier with the support I got. Next speaker, general president of the cement mason and plasters, Pat Finley. General President Finley. Good morning, everybody. You see everybody out here, we saw what we across the street, you see those carpenters? Who doesn't know, who doesn't know that they're apprentices that were ordered to be here? We're here because we want to be here. There's 16 jurisdictions where the carpenters try to raid and take our jurisdiction of drywall finishing that historically, historically has been our craft since drywall was invented. You know, it's Saturday morning, it's early. There's a lot of better things we could be doing right now. Nothing better than this. Yeah. Yeah. All this came together because you care about a solid, a solid AFL-CIO and a solid building trees. And this is the start of it today. It's you now, it's us tomorrow for all the other building trades. We stand in solidarity. I'm with you on the state assembly, I'm with you on the building trades, and I'm with you as your electrician brother. Yeah. We're tired of this shit and we're not taking it anymore. When all the votes were counted, the IUPAT won in a landslide. Once again, the Carpenters and their campaign to divide the labor movement were resoundingly rejected. In my almost 40 years, next month it'll be 40 years in the labor movement, I've been involved in, uh, in a few of these occasions. Nothing compared to the over 1,600 members showing up from the other trades to support the IUPAT. The feeling uh, was more than goosebumps. The feeling of pride, of support, of solidarity, of unions that I did not know the leaders of that showed up that day to support the IUPAT in its efforts to protect its jurisdiction. That was the real tell in that election.